What's shaking and baking, all you hip, cool cats? My name is Kit, and welcome one and all to Chicago Reacts. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that ring bell notification. That way you're made aware we upload new content onto our YouTube channel. And today, today, well, we're going to go back in time. It's actually a little bit nostalgic, and maybe it can lighten everyone's, or put, put, put some warmth in your heart. As we all know, uh, Star Wars is... Uh, Heading towards an epic failure. They, they they shut down that galaxy hotel. Yeah, that yeah that, that was doomed for failure. And already that uh, intellectual property that was once called one of the greatest, Star Wars, is suffering terribly. They're going broke. But let's return back to a simpler time. Maybe like five years in the past. Because we got ourselves a fun video from none other than the greatest of the great. The Russian Badger himself with a Star Wars Battlefront 2 beta video. Now, uh, it's been a long time since I played Star Wars Battlefront, or even Battlefront 2. Jeez, geez, that'd probably be an epic failure. However, however, to those who at least still play it, uh, have they made any updates to it? Have they made any changes to it? Please, tell us your thoughts, and uh, how bad is it really getting out there, especially to the diehard Star Wars enthusiasts? I know right now it's it really hurts... It really hurts to see uh, such a powerful IP being absolutely dragged through the coals. It's 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 just sad. So maybe 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 things will get better. But let's just go back in time and enjoy this simple video: Star Wars Battlefront Two beta. Watch those wrist rockets, not wrist watch, from the Russian Badger. And as always, for all the videos we react to, the original uh, link is in the description box below. So please, please, please support the original content creators because that's what a hip, cool cat should do. All right. But now, let's pull this video up and get ready to enjoy it in a three, a two, a one. Over to LeBron on the baseline. Oh, disgusting. Ah, glorious clone disgusting. troopers. Go. Uh-oh, I'm out of bounds. There you go. Go. Aw, oh, shit. Run. 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 Come on. Yeah. Get me back in bounds for the love of God. There you go. Oh, move. God. Move. Yes, we're good. <laughs> oh, I almost <laughs> made it. I was so close. <laughs> oh. Shouldn't have come to this. Close. Close, but no cigar. Star Wars Battlefront 2, motherfucker. The game that's extremely fun for the extremely skilled and probably pretty mediocre for everybody else. Well, mm. we, we call you normies. But before I start screaming Roger Roger at the top of my lungs, let me start with a firm statement, which happens to be the firm statement that I will not be making any firm statements about the beta. And here's why. Two years ago this month, I made a video called Wiggle Wiggle Operator about the Rainbow Six Siege beta saying that it was atrocious, filled with empty hype and was gonna fail. And guess what happened? Ubisoft totally overhauled everything, completely changed the game, and blasted Rainbow Six Siege into a money-filled rocket ship to planet popularity. And to twist the knife even more, Rainbow Six is now a staple game on my channel that occupies nearly all of my most viewed videos, and at least half of my subscribers are Rainbow Six players. They Shout out to the beautiful people of Rainbow Six. Keep on fighting, keep your heads on a swivel, and you'll win absolute victory. It love to beat me over the head with that video to this day. Yeah, it's like being figuratively punched in the face with hindsight. Hey, is he gonna cook that shark? Bias. So to make the statement that I was referring to earlier, I will not be making any statements about the Star Wars Battlefront beta. This is just one-way banter. This is just thinking out loud. I have no idea if it's gonna be a resounding success or a catastrophic failure. The end. And with that being said, oh baby, was it ever a blast to play. Oh my god, Darth Maul, I'm out. Rolly boys don't what? want Whoa, whoa! No, sector not clear. Oh, I'm still alive. <laughs> oh! Maybe it's just my bias towards games that reward reflexes and rapid- Hold on. We're watching that again. We're, oh, wait. This time, I've, I've, I've learned I've learned a new skill. Hold on. Not using the mouse. There you go. I don't want none of this. No, sector not clear. Oh, I'm still alive. Fatality. Ah. Maybe it's just my bias towards games that reward reflexes and rapid aim instead of strategy, but temporarily ignoring all other flaws, it was a hell of a lot of fun to play. It's about fun. 
What's that? Now granted, there was a learning curve to get oriented with the controls and how the game modes work. Yo, what is F? Uh, for the assault? Uh, I'm so used to it being pay respects, I don't know what this gun is. Hey, do you want to reload in blue or do you want to reload in yellow? What yellow does is that it temporarily increases damage and it temporarily does not overheat your gun when you shoot. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Was that too hard to fucking say? <laughs> I don't know, you're the one with the lisp. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill you! You fucking kill me! <laughs> oh, nothing but f friendly banter in a war zone of robots, clones, Jedi, and so many other wonderful things in the Star Wars universe. God, it's it's so sad to see what's what's happening to that IP. <laughs> <laughs> But this supposed steep learning curve turned out to be more of a speed bump because I was able to shove myself into the MVP spot on a consistent basis after about 30 minutes of playtime, much to my own surprise. Oh, and he grabbed the oh, three piece. Oh, damn. The, the three piece. Oh. Tic tac toe, three in a row. Oh, right give me that uh, three piece. That's such a stupid pose. You're in midair? Yeah. Shut up, I'm dunking on him right now. Did you just call me Bois? Now what's not surprising is how simple it is to do outrageously well in this game if you keep a few fundamentals in mind and number one is battle points. Battle points are racked up by playing the objective, killing rebel scum, and doing basically anything that helps your team achieve victory. Let me get that ion disruptor. Get it. Yeah. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Get it. Shoot it. Yup. Fantastic, on, get him. Once you have enough of these battle points, you can spend them on dramatically better vehicles, classes, and heroes. Just think of them like a kill streak that reward you for doing well. With my personal f All right, all right, gotta ask this question. If you played Star Wars Battlefront 1 and you played Star Wars Battlefront 2, what was your favorite vehicle, class of character, weapon to use? Tell us, T -t tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us. See, now, now I'm stuttering and stammering all over the place. Tell us your stories of victory and defeat. Favorite, obviously, being the super battle droid. Yeah. Dab. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to murder you, but there's no TK. So, so I was talking to Beverly the other day, and then I just dab. I mean, shot. <laughs> I was saying I was talking to Beverly the other day, and she was like, Why'd you take me in one house? And I was just like, damn, I'll just dab on a thought, I tell you. But like it or not, you're gonna have to play as the default classes when the game starts because zero battle points means zero upgrades. So to start racking up battle points, my number one recommendation is quite simple. Yeet. Cheese the shit out of your opponents. Every class in the game has three abilities that give you a temporary advantage over your opponents, and spamming these things mm -hmm. nonstop is utterly important. A prime Good. example is the Vanguard ability that shifts you into maximum overdrive and gives you a shot gun more powerful than God. Oh, I'm gonna vanguard him. Here we go, go. boys. Yeah, boy. Vanguard boys. Vanguard boys. Boom. Beautiful. Man, I, I missed that shot pretty hard, but whatever. We got him. Anybody finna get vanguarded like this guy? There you go. Perfect. Fast as fuck, boy. Fast as fuck, boy. And hey, in case accuracy right. isn't a thing, the grenade ability is on a bottomless cooldown. What a time to be alive and stacking up battle points. Oh shit! Grenade! <laughs> Just remember ah. that while you're playing- So much of the stuff I've forgotten. My goodness. Oh, well, I guess I get- I guess- I guess now, uh, everything's brand new to me. The, the older I get, the more stuff I forget, everything's new. That's- that's- that's the beauty of getting old. Sometimes you forget things and then BOOM! You relearn it all over again. Playing the default classes, it is absolutely mandatory to constantly spam your roll key to be virtually impossible to hit. I really can't wait till journalists start calling this game the Dark Souls of Star Wars games. Let's be honest, Badger, you probably buy a foot pedal to bound to alt. Yeah! You see, you guys in chat think that I'm lying, but if I could buy a foot pedal and bind it to alt and just break my ankles spamming it all day, I would do it. I would pay several hundred dollars to do it. Back on topic, as long as you keep the saying, if you find yourself in a fair fight, your tactics suck, ingrained in your brain while playing the default classes and spamming your abilities that provide temporary advantages, you'll have oodles of battle points to spend on upgrades. No sweat. And once you are swimming in battle points, spending them wisely is also a good idea. And there's no better choice than the Jet Trooper. You honestly can't go wrong. 
Jump. It's okay, I have a rocket launcher. You thought you were gonna win the gunfight, and then I said, oh, no, no, you will not win this gunfight. You will not seize the day. There, there was something really awesome about the fact that, you know, I, maybe this is a little bit of a different uh, subject to bring up, but, you know, with Star Wars, there was always this uh, creativity and endless possibility, especially with its games, because um, I remember Star Wars Rogue Squadron on 64... Um, I remember all of the other video games that came out, Knights of the Old Republic, all all of it, all all of these fun games. And, you know, there's there's a lot of nostalgia. And nostalgia is sometimes, you know, I think it's defined as, you know, it's it, it's somewhat of a painful memory, a bittersweet memory. But looking at where Star Wars was and where it's at now, I'm not the biggest, you know, person who's knowledgeable in star wars you know warhammer 40k has my heart and everything but uh, just seeing how disney just ran it through the through the coals and just constantly dismissed the fandom and everything i mean they had a treasure trove of books in which they could have made movies and tv shows out of and they threw it all away dumbest thing ever i mean they they literally they literally could have been crapping out money for a very very long time <sighs> but i think we all know the evil one who is responsible for it she who will not be named you just nay -nay on yes <laughs> that's basically what i rocket did rocket is he was standing right in front of me like ha huh, good luck winning this one and then you nay nay had a rocket launcher oh wait oh, yeah, seriously. <laughs> These guys are the perfect combination of firepower and mobility, giving you the overwhelming advantage against normie characters by either outmaneuvering them or simply dunking on them with your rocket launcher like your Vince Carter. Let me... Dunked on! Oh god, that's disgusting. Of course you have the jetpack trooper equivalent with the other factions like the super battle droid, aka... And even though they may have slightly different health bars or abilities, as long as they have the jetpack, they're exactly what you want. Like you're approaching somebody that's really attractive and you find out they have bad breath, you're like, HOLA! 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 <laughs> and you come back 40 feet. And I may take some heat for this. Alright, fine. Everyone? Type in the comment section below, have you ever ran to someone who had really bad breath? Like, you just, ugh. It's happened to me. There was one person a long, long time ago. Honest to God, either something died in their mouth or they ate crap. Horrible, horrible halitosis. Bad breath through and through. It, 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 it was the worst ever. It was like, wow. Terrible. God awful. But I think the heroes are way overpriced. I'm not saying they're bad. I will definitely never say they're bad. All right, Darth Maul's right beside me. If I stand still, will he see me? He did not see me, thank God. <laughs> Is he like a dinosaur? Yes. Vision based yes, now let me go chase him down. Let me see if I can get him with a shoddy. But are they worth 5,000 battle points or two and a half times the 2,000 points that the jetpack troopers cost? Definitely not. Oh god, I'm out of Good. here. I don't want none of this. No, jump. Hold up. Hold jump. up. Hold up. I don't want none of that. I'm jump. Leaving. Get out of there. That's Darth Maul. Move. Earth to occupy. I don't want to be on this planet anymore. Just kidding, I have a rocket launcher. Come at me, fatty. I think the one exception to this may be Boba Fett because he's basically a jetpack trooper on steroids that has better mobility and increased range over other heroes. But in my experience, I ran by the guideline, not jetpack, not interested. Hey, you think you're fast? Oh, I don't think so, girl. I don't think so. And now that you know <laughs> roughly how the game works, here's what I think it means. The beta was extremely fun if you were a skilled player, but pretty boring for everyone else that isn't exceptional. I know the term snowball is typically reserved for MOBA-style games, but that's exactly what comes to mind. In any given server, the baller players would cheese their way to early battle points by using abilities like Vanguard, unlock jet troopers, giving them an even greater advantage, and just continue stomping normies because of the superior classes and weaponry they were using on top of their superior skill. 
Did I just out snipe a sniper across the map? Sniper no sniping. What is this? I think the potential loot crate aspect of the game could make this gap between outstanding players and everyone else even worse, and it's pretty simple. The loot crates contain character upgrade cards like more health, damage, etc. And although they can be unlocked by simply playing the game, if you spend money on them, you can open a lot more of them a lot faster, arguably giving you a greater chance of having the best ones, or at least a greater selection to choose from. Wait a minute, you gain a small amount of score for each hit that you take? Hmm. They want to reward you for getting shot? What the fuck? So- Alright, seems reasonable, I- I guess. If you're wondering why people are labeling this game as potentially pay to win, this is it. Again, not condemning anyone or anything at this point because this was a beta and I have no idea if it's gonna make it to the retail release, but my observations during my playtime was simply a handful of all-stars going on massive kill streaks and dominating everyone else by a margin that I rarely see in other shooter titles. But now I feel like I've gotten too serious on you all of a sudden and I really feel like highlighting some of the goofier parts of this beta. A perfect example is the use of the word clan Anchors, which I initially thought was some kind of racial slur, but then I remember that droids are not a race, but I still feel a little weird calling them clankers. Watch for clankers. Oh, they call them clankers in game. That's not actually like a slur. They, yeah, they actually call them clankers. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, that's not just a slur I made up. <laughs> I thought you made that up, just calling oh, yeah, them to, clankers, to be, and I was like, to be fair, that's I do, a little I do insensitive. Have a Another goofy one was the ability to see the entirety of the enemy team at the beginning of the round, so you could basically spawn peek the enemy wide open if you grabbed a high powered scope. It was essentially like playing Jaeger, but in Star Wars. Okay, I got one. I got one. I'm satisfied. Great. I'm satisfied. And finally, I wanted to let you know that I wanted to dive even deeper into this beta, but on the last day, it was honestly hard to find full servers to play on. Look at the only opponent we have right now, Grouse. <laughs> Big thick man. <laughs> that's a screen cap if I've ever seen oh, it. <laughs> Big Wireless. thick Just man finish. meat. And that's about it. I would like to thank you very much for watching and be sure to tune in next time when we try to stop saying the word clankers. <laughs>
please support the original content creators. Why? Because it's the right thing to do. The original link of all the videos that we react to are in the description box below. Take care, folks. Oh, 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 oh,